Tom, man, what's good, man? How you doing? Doing good, doing good. Uh, I wanted to ask you, what's it been like working with uh, guys like Eric Flowers, Jesse Davis, uh, you know, guys with experience under the belt, and how they've been able to help out the rookie group? Oh, those guys are vets, you know. As you teach me, the teaching the ropes of the game, me coming in as a rookie, and, uh, you know, first year being in the NFL, they're just teaching me the ropes of how to play football and do the stuff on and off the field. You're going to go to Hal? Say it again. Hi. Oh, okay. Hi, can, you're, can you hear me okay? Yes, sir. Hi, how are you doing? I'm um, good. What about you? I'm fine, thank you. I wanted to ask you about your progress. Uh, you came in maybe slightly under the radar because two – Offensive linemen were drafted ahead of you, and yet people are noticing you. You're getting reps. I'm sure you're obligated to say that there are things you can improve on. Every player says that. But in general, how do you feel about your progress, and has your confidence grown in this past week? Um, I, I'm just blessed to be here. I, I appreciate the Miami Dolphins for picking me up. You know, um, like I said, I'm blessed to be here. And uh, like you, like you said, Every offensive line, every player got something to prove on every day. So, you know, I'm just working at that. I'm trying to get better, and I'm trying to prove myself that I belong where, where I'm at right now. Solomon? Solomon, how you doing, man? I'm good. What about you? Great, great. What are some things that you're learning um, from the guys beside you on the offensive line, whether it's Ted Karras or Jesse Davis or, you know, even Eric Flowers? You know, what are some things you're learning from the vets that are helping you, you know, rep by rep, day by day, that, that are helping you kind of take the next step as you go on here in training camp? They're just teaching me how to be a pro, man. They're just teaching me how to be a pro. Um, eating right, um, studying the film, writing down all the notes that's that's need to be done. When the coach is talking to me in a meeting, um, making sure um, 30, 45 minutes to, to meetings early or I got to lift, you know, getting up early, getting, getting my day started. And then I only that teaching me the game of football, like, Stuff that I that that you most people won't see that I gotta see, you know, just me and Eric stay after practice every day and just work hard and get on get on get better on everything aspect of the game. Cam Wolf. Hey Solomon Hi. man, uh I wanted to ask kind of what's the relationship like between the other two drafted rookies? You know, you guys got a rare room of three guys coming in the same class. Can you yeah. take us through what that's been like? It's crazy because I think Austin said the other day, could y'all imagine all three of us would have been at the Miami Dolphins at the combine because at the combine they split us up into groups and I was like number 28, Austin was like number 30, and Rod was like number 25. And we was all with each other the whole combine and look, God bless us to be in this position that we is now. Like like I said, those my those are my guys, those are my boys. I'm glad to play with them. You gonna go to Travis? Hey Solomon, how are you, man? I'm good, Travis. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So I'm watching you move around out there, and you move really well for a guy listed at 339. It's, it's really impressive to watch. And I want to go back to your first job as a lifeguard. You've also got an impressive hoops resume. I guess yeah. what I want to ask you is, do you attribute that agility to the other sports? And how do you train nowadays to maintain that movement ability? You know, like, like you said, being a lifeguard, you know, getting in that water and doing a lot of laps and doing that type of stuff in the off season, it really it, it helps a lot. But a lot of people don't believe that, you know, I, I was a uh, lifeguard, so just using that and just taking the uh, lifeguard and playing basketball, because basketball, you got to move your feet, you got to run up and down the court, you know, that makes you, cause there's a lot of conditioning, and all these attributes of the, every game, it comes down to playing football, it all comes down to playing the sport that you want to play, so I just buy in and just use all that together. Profit? I um, almost forgot my question, man, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it, dude. You, you have seemed like you have a, a really great energy about yourself. You know, what are some things that why, – why do you take such pride, pride in, in, in being so positive and, and having this this attitude that you have that you're sharing with us here today? You could be here today. You could be going tomorrow. I'm just – like I said, I'm blessed for the opportunity, and that's how my uh, family and my mom and my dad raised me. So I just, you know, keep a positive attitude because you never know what can happen tomorrow. Cam Wolf? What's up, Solomon? Uh – I, I'm going back to the lifeguard question. You said some people don't believe you. Have you had some interactions with your teammates about the lifeguard thing? Oh <laughs> yeah, I, we got a, I got in a pool with a few of them before camp even started. And um, when we doing the Zoom call throughout the uh, throughout the off season, they was all like, 
Follow me, you can't swim, you can't do, you can't do this. So we finally got in the pool. I promise you, I would smoke everybody. I smoke everybody. It wasn't no challenge between nothing or against anybody. I promise you can ask anybody on the team. I smoke, I promise. Omar? Solomon, tell us the truth. Are you 339 pounds? Cause this, this, this you, you look like a big man. I'm, <laughs> I'm 335. I weighed in at 335. How? Uh, Solomon, a few minutes ago, you talked about things that you're learning, especially from the veterans out there. What's one thing that maybe you've learned in these past several days where you kind of told yourself, man, I never really thought about that. You never thought about this being part of the NFL. What comes to mind? Small technique stuff like step in this way when this block is coming, putting your hand up on this type of pass pro, make sure your eyes right on the outside backer, you know, those little things in college where it, it, was, it wasn't too big, but not in the NFL, that your opponent, they're studying what you're doing every time. They're studying what you're doing every time. So those little things can get you beat. And also you do a little thing that can make you great. Cam Wolf. Solomon, one more time about the lifeguard situation. It's, it's real <laughs> interesting. So I got one more question for you. I got you, okay. So, so two-parter, how big were you when you were a lifeguard, like size-wise? Uh, I had to be, I had to be a few more pounds bigger, but you know, it just had a little bit more baby fat. Straight out of high school, and ain't getting to college yet. I had a little bit more baby fat, but uh, I want too too much more. So you were three hundred plus. Yeah, I was three hundred plus, definitely. Yeah, yeah. And, and so, <laughs> I always so, been three hundred plus. So, so do you still have a lifeguard certification? Do you can you still be a lifeguard at this point? Every year, every year when you become a lifeguard, my brothers and all my family is lifeguards. You gotta go go do like a certification test. So all I got to do is take that test and like fill out a few questions, put my name on it, and I definitely can be a lifeguard again. Safed? The lifeguard stuff is, is great, man. We, we're, 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 we're eating it all up. I wanted to ask you, man, um, in regards to football, you know, how important is it for you to to start and, and, and be a player who gets some prominent time on the field here, you know, especially as a rookie? And I'm just blessed. Well, I'm just blessed for the opportunity. Whatever the coach need me to win, whatever, whatever he put me at, uh, to help my team produce and do the right thing, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do one more for Travis. Hey, Solomon, you've been going up against Raekwon Davis a little bit in practice. You went up against him as, w and, as well at Alabama in college. What's that battle been like and how are you guys kind of learning and helping each other out as pros? He's a stud. He's a stud. Like you said, I've been going against him for three years straight in SEC, gets Raekwon, Raekwon is Raekwon. Raekwon is a very good player. He helps me out on certain stuff on the field and I help him out on certain stuff on the field. And and that just, that's just that. 